Welcome to Thom CMC Osteoarthritis Surgical and Post-Surgical Insight. It means that the, the trapezium is removed, but there's something else put in place. So with an osteotomy, we want to change this pressure on the volar lip. The focus on a trapeziectomy is to remove the articular surface. There are a variety of specific LRTI techniques. So currently, both the silicone as well as other implants are recommended for patients who are not at high functional levels. But it is equally important that the thumb MP joint be part of a balanced posture. The increased range of motion must be relative to a loss of motion. This can only come after perhaps there's been muscle isolation exercise. Any imbalance at any of the three thumb joints can recreate an imbalanced posture post-operative. It needs to be repeated frequently. It needs to be firm but not excessive. You align the laser light with these two marks. It is possible to push off and not have the hand flat, so perhaps the focus needs to be on alternate push-off technique. I would always work to strengthen the muscles that palmarly abduct, that extend just the CMC, now not the whole thumb. When the patient pinches, particularly I would say when they do the tear, what happens at the MP joint? So the weaning from the orthosis perhaps needs to occur much more slowly with some individuals than others. I would qualify that by saying this is not an immobilization orthosis. It's one that's retaining the CMC joint in that mid-functional range, allowing the thumb to be progressively loaded in a balanced pinched posture.